There we go. Hello and welcome. This is the Leaders Lab for May's theme of creativity 2003. I have a few announcements, just like regular church. One is that I hope everybody realizes that June 4th, 2023, will be the 100th, 100th anniversary of the Flower Communion. Uh, Norbert Chapek offered it on June 4th, 1923, in Prague, and it's one of our few real UU uh, ceremonies, so please make a note of it. And I've put some notes for the June packet that's going to be coming out in a bit for the Flower Communion. Also, we're just about to release our summer curriculum, one of two now. This is called Can Do Summer, and it's a short uh, program of eight sessions because we heard from everybody, what do I do this summer? So we offered Magic Summer last year, and this year it'll be called Can Do Summer. Building Creativity and Imagination will be the themes. And our page is almost up. Scott and I have been working on it uh, as we speak. So let's jump into May's theme of creativity. This lovely packet. I just wanted to backtrack a minute and tell you that I decided I must be a uh, some kind of humanist naturalist because as I learned about the Mandelbrot set in mathematics and I walk through the woods, I start thinking about God as creativity. It doesn't have to be a transcendent person, but something that might be just creativity. So we have four sessions in the packet on creativity for May. Creativity helps us solve puzzles. It transforms things. Creativity includes everyone. And this is exploring the way we can move from Mother's Day as the Hallmark event to Mama's Day, wonderful offering by the Moving Forward people. The third session is practice originality. Creativity can help us practice originality and find new ways to do things. And the last session is that music's creativity helps us in so many ways. I've centered that on some possibilities for Memorial Day. And in the sessions, you might notice that there's more activities offered than usual. That's because there's so many ways to be creative and you take your own group and what they might need. Do they want to do a creative walk in the woods or would they rather do a creative storytelling uh, game? Every group is so different that it's important for me to give you a few more building blocks than usual on the theme of creativity. So session one, let's tease apart each session. The team that we have, the widening circle, widening the circle team gives me lists of books, multicultural, anti-racism, anti-oppression books for us to include in these packets. They have done such good work. And this packet of creativity has tons of ideas uh, from them. For this session one, The Book of Mistakes by Karina Loiken is the one we suggest and they suggested to us. It's how to turn mistakes into inspiration. And then there's a number of different activities. As you know, the one I would like to highlight is something that came up in our brainstorming lab. And we call it the too much in the supply closet problem. So how can you be creative with, and in my case, it would have been, I had a box of this colored sand. Somebody must have done a project. And what do I do with all this colored sand? Uh, it might be a box of yarn, as somebody said. It might be the, the, the fake flowers that came in from somebody's wonderful little donation. What do you do with them? Well, this might be the month 
you say to the children, we have too much in the supply closet. Can you be creative and help me think of things to do with this? Too much in the supply closet problem. I thought that was really, really fun idea, especially for May when things are winding down a little for the summer, perhaps. And it would be so nice to have that supply closet walkable. Session two, two, there we go. This is the Mother's Day session. In my work with children, they're very aware it's Mother's Day. They want to show love. If they have anyone in their um, lives that gives them, um, well, I'm getting a little, okay. Anyone in their lives that cares for them. That's really for us the wider definition because we don't want to exclude someone who has two fathers. We don't want to exclude someone who has a guardian. So it's move um, a way of, of saying thank you to these people who we love and who care for us. So I go to also marginalized people. In the traditional Hallmark world of cards, they want us to buy things to express our love. It's hard to find images of marginalized people. And yet we know that those folks are working hard to care for those who need our care. So I went to the Forward Together organization. They have a wonderful website called Mama's Day. And this shows multicultural women of all ages, all colors, all walks of life, and how they care for each other. And the resources they have are wonderful. There's a coloring page, there's multicultural art. This is also a time I would get your multicultural markers out. And then finally, there's a way to look at your supply closet once more and upcycle things that could be used for pots and flowers. The one download that they offer of multicultural art, you subscribe to their newsletter and, and I recommend it. It's a wonderful way to support them. So I don't think you need to be afraid of giving your email to the Forward Together folks. They're great folks. And you can always unsubscribe if you're done and you choose not to. All right, session three. Creativity helps us practice originality. So I pulled up the Winter Gatton. This is a young man who's created a marble machine with 2,000 marbles, and he cranks it up, and it creates music, like a music box almost, the marbles hitting different things. Just a wonderful, meditative, and yet fascinating and creative way of making music. And in a little bit of a difference, I suggest that for the Wonder Box, that you actually show that. I usually don't do that, but this is just so cool. I wanted to share it with the children. The book is called Maybe Something Beautiful. This is a true story about the urban art walk, the art trail in San Diego, California, and how the murals and the creativity that evolved with an artist working with the neighbors uh, came out of that. Then this one is the one that's packed with whole so many kinds of ideas. Um, there's an inside out video by OK Go. It's a musical group and they go up in a <clears throat> Russian plane and go into anti-gravity for a few seconds. So they're all upside down and floating around with balloons and cans of paint. And it's about the most creative thing you've ever seen, excuse me. <laughs> There's creative storytelling, there's a creative walk, all these kinds of possibilities in that to be practicing originality. <clears throat> oh, and I have to do a shout out. Thanks to, um, oh dear, and his name is escaping me, Peter. Peter Boynton, I think it is. He's got a little coloring page on Emerson's birthday, which is what if, what if this, it, I am a walking eye? It's a quote from Emerson and he made an eye page. It's really cool. And he let us use that. Then the fourth session, as I mentioned earlier, is the uh, 
sort of Memorial Day centered one. It is for that weekend if you prefer to use it that then it's called music helps us in so many ways and so one of the lenses is to use taps which is of course the beautiful and haunting tune they play over the graves of the fallen soldiers um the other way is to look at a quintessentially american uh music which is jazz and how that came out of the hardship of the enslaved people coming from Africa, bringing their way of making music and then evolving it into jazz and then hip hop and then rap. It's a fascinating uh, history there. Um, <clears throat> the last part of the packet, as you know, is all the additional picture books. And once again, the whole list of picture books came from the Widening the Circle team this month, just excellent work and multicultural, anti-oppression, anti-racist, oh, building that beautiful world we all hope for with so many different colors and ways of being a person. There's also wisdom tales. And then the final thing I always include for a for all ages, a multi-generational moment, the message moment, and that's when I encourage all our folks not to just use picture books to tell stories in four all ages. This is a time to really connect to the children and the youth and the adults that are sitting there listening to you. In this month, I suggest you find a story that your, your congreg ways that your congregation has been creative. What a nice moment to share with, with everyone. Was it a story of how a group of people built a labyrinth? Is it a story about how they built a memorial garden? Was it a story about how they searched and creatively found a new minister or a new DRE, Rachel? Was it a story of how they made a special pulpit and how it reflected what they feel important in? Was it a story about how they creatively saved the memorial, um, excuse me, the membership book that was falling apart? So tease out some story from your own congregation to share as the message moment for how your congregation practices creativity. I think that would be really fun. Before I close, I have two things that I love to share with you. They're readings about creativity. These are from our worship packet. The first, all that we have ever loved stands with us on the brink of all that we aspire to create. That's from Reverend Leslie Takahashi. And the final one is a Memorial Day prayer from the Worship Web by Barbara J. Pascan. Spirit of life, send peace for the soldiers who did not make the wars, but whose lives were consumed by them. For the wounded ones and those who received them back, let there be someone ready when the, memory, when the memories come. So thank you and have a great May.